the prescription medicine capital of the world, it's TV Doctors Week on Hollywood Square. Dr. Winkler, Dr. Levitt, please report to the operating room. Sorry, Dr. Ruth Westheimer. From Medical Center, Chad Everett. Dr. Quinn, Jane Seymour. Emergencies, Randolph Mantu. Nurse Julia Baker, Diane Carroll. From Strong Medicine, Jennifer Lewis. Dr. Nigel Townsend, Steve Valentine. Hot Lips, Hulahan, Loretta Swift. And this week's Center Square, Alec Baldwin. Thank you, everybody. Uh, welcome to a special week here on Hollywood Squares, or as John referred to it, the prescription capital of the United States, Hollywood, <laughs> California. Wonderful. We want to welcome back as Center Square our good buddy Alec Baldwin once again. Give it up for Alec. <laughs> Alec, uh, speaking of medicine and doctors and things, is here this week representing the Carol M. Baldwin Cancer Research Fund, to which King World has made a generous donation and remind our viewers what the uh, fund's about. My mom has a breast cancer research uh, foundation in Stony Brook, Long Island, and mm -hmm. thanks to King World for their generous donation. Today. Absolutely. And you can find out more about it by logging on to findacure.org. Now, because it's uh, Doctors Week, we're saluting stars of your favorite TV doctors shows, but it doesn't stop there. All of our contestants this week are actually uh, healthcare professionals because you know I've got a little pain <laughs> <laughs> we want to uh, greet our players in the circle position Annalisa and Shadow welcome Annalisa how are you Hi, good to you. see you and Mr. X today is Kevin Fitzgerald right. welcome Kevin thank good to see nice. you thank you all right now on special weeks like this our contestants will be with us for just one day so we go back to uh, well last year's formats for you Hollywood Squares historians. Uh, be on the lookout for bluffs, guys. They can trip you out. Uh, otherwise, it's just a basic tic-tac-toe. First game is a $1,000 game. And who won the coin toss back? Steve? I did. All right, then you start. I'll take Alec Baldwin, please. Alec Baldwin. <laughs> By the way, Alec's connection to all this is that he played Billy Allison Aldrich on NBC's daytime drama, The Doctors. Uh -huh. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah, so. That's right. <laughs> <clears throat> Alec, can you compete in the Olympics after having a sex change operation? Well, that would depend if the event required any balls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good one. <laughs> um, the answer is true. You can. I disagree. It is true, and they'll be able to do it for the first time uh, in Athens. Uh, so, you know, woohoo, party. Okay, X gets that one. Kevin. All right. I would like uh, Jennifer Lewis, please. Jennifer Lewis from Strong Medicine on Lifetime, produced by our buddy Whoopi Goldberg. Yay. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Jennifer, good to see you again. What do Burger King, Jerry Seinfeld, John Travolta, The Tonight Show, Godzilla, Lord of the Rings, Yanni, Playboy, and peanut M&Ms all have in common this year. My God. <laughs> mm. Well, on some level, they're all bad for your tea. <laughs> <laughs> Yanni is now leaving the building. <laughs> uh, they were all on the 500 Forbes list. Okay. I'm going to agree. No, they all turned 50 in 2004. <laughs> Circle gets that one. Annalisa. I'll take Chad Everett, please. Chad Everett, Dr. Joe Gannon, a medical center on CBS. Welcome, Chad. Pleasure Will to be here. William Dawes and Dr. Samuel Prescott went on a famous mission with whom? I happen to know this one. Lewis and Clark. I disagree. But he, he knew it. I have to watch out for the bluffs. <laughs> Good that you did, because it's Paul Revere. Circle. Just the square. <laughs> All right, Kevin. I'm going to take uh, Loretta Swit for the bluffs. Loretta Swit, hot lips. From MASH. 
Her jewelry available at uh, intergem.com. Welcome, Loretta. Good to see you. Thanks. A Yahoo poll says seven out of ten people actually talk to them, and most think they're a girl. What are they? Oh, it would have to be um, their cars. I'm going to disagree. Their cars. That is right. Yes. Can't give you that one, Annalisa. You have to earn it yourself. I'll take Loretta Swit for the win. And $1,000. All right. A computer nerd just ran a software integration and test, but what does he call it for short? Uh, reboot. I disagree. A software integration and test is called for short a SWIT. Circle gets the square and the win for $1,000. We will have a secret square game and we'll take more symptoms when Doctor's Week continues right after this. Stick around. Promotional consideration furnished by the following. Hollywood Squares. We're going to get into a secret square game in a moment. First, we'll give our contestants a few uh, minutes to say hi to you. Annalisa and Chetta, tell us about yourself. Originally from Manila, Philippines, I work for, with the elderly at Garden Grove Convalescent Hospital, where I volunteer to do their shopping and activities. I also uh, coordinate their annual talent show. Wonderful. All right. Well, good to have you here. Thank you. And by the way, all of our contestants this week are healthcare professionals. Uh, Kevin Fitzgerald, tell us about yourself. Uh, thank you. I'm a respiratory therapist, uh, originally from Buffalo, New York. Go Bills. And, um, <laughs> and I also used to be a firefighter. All right. Aww. Well, good to have you both with us. All right. Next $1,000 game is a secret square game. And I'm happy to say, please be seated for this. It's... Mitsubishi Monday. That's right, our first Secret Square prize each Monday is a gift from our friends at Mitsubishi. Uh, for more information on products, you can log on to our website at hollywoodsquares.com. Today it's a 50-inch plasma uh, high-definition television, and here to tell us about it is the over-caffeinated Mitsubishi Zone, <laughs> Dr. Gadget. Hey guys, Finn really is in. With this 50-inch high-definition plasma, once you've seen Mitsubishi HDTV, you will know the essence of style and performance. Quality you can depend on, not just television, Mitsubishi television. Back to you, Tom. Thank you, Dr. Gadget. <laughs> Let's show the home audience who the secret square is. <laughs> All right, now you know. Uh, Annalisa, you won the last game, so you start the secret square game. I'll take Alec Baldwin, please. Alec Baldwin, all right. Which, uh, which trains more young people, the United States Armed Forces or McDonald's? <clears throat> I know this, okay? <laughs> Did I freak you out when I said that? <laughs> Doctors have been bluffing you for years. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> McDonald's trains more people. I agree. McDonald's it is. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Circle gets that. Kevin. Uh, Jane Seymour, please. Jane Seymour, Dr. Quinn, <laughs> medicine woman. <laughs> Welcome, Jane. Thank you. After this took an Oxford professor 14 years to write, it was split into three parts by the publisher. What is it? Oh, I think I know. I think we all know. Lords of the, Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings? I'm going to agree. Lord of the Rings it is. Yes, X gets the square. Annalisa. I'll take Randolph Mantooth, please. Randolph Mantooth from Emergency, which ran on NBC from 72 to 77. Welcome, Randolph. Good Thank to have you, you here. 9-11 is for emergencies. 4-11 is for directory assistance. And now the FCC has designated 2-11 to get information about what? Oh, I know this. Um, in fact, it was created for the people in New York. It's, uh, and I called it just this morning. It's the weather. I disagree. It was the I called it just this morning part that really... <laughs> that's, that's what turned it for you, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I know I pushed it. That's right. <laughs> it's, it's the bluff and beyond. <laughs> My wife always says when you're lying, yeah, you that's talk right. too much. That's right. It's to call social services. Uh, circle. <laughs> Get to square. Kevin. Uh, Dr. Wow. Ruth for the Black Dr. Ruth! Oh, right. 
By the way, Dr. Ruth's book, Musically Speaking, a life through song, is in stores now. Good to see. And it's in her square, by the way, coincidentally. <laughs> a little visual help here, Dr. Ruth. We'll see Hollywood tough guy Edward G. Robinson in an unusual role. Is it from Dr. Ehrlich's Magic Bullet, The Strange Case of Dr. Rx, or The Amazing Dr. Clitterhouse? Dr. <laughs> <laughs> um, Clitterhouse sounds very much like the terminology I use for a certain part of the anatomy. <laughs> I'm very careful. Please, please. Don't, don't you know, drag I'm the show into the gutter. <laughs> I, I'm very careful, so I'll go with that Clitterhouse. All right. <laughs> Dr. Ruth goes with the Clitterhouse. Oh I will disagree. The amazing Dr. Clitterhouse, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Can't give you that one, Annalisa. You'll have a shot at it when we, when we come back, because right now we have, to, we have to pay some bills. You can all say Clitterhouse together at home. We'll be right back. Look at that. You believe that? That's fun. Promotional consideration furnished by the following. 